what is up everybody this is lyle no hippie trucking and transportation i'm coming at you from the loves on i-76 exit 31 in hudson colorado about 50 miles away from my delivery tomorrow and i elected not to uh, go home for a number of different reasons but one of the main reasons is just dropping my you know stopping at the drop yard running home was just going to create a little bit too much of an issue in terms of what I was going to have to deal with tomorrow and I was going to be running a little low on hours and wasn't sure if I could get to the drop yard in general so I'm talking to somebody about this and they're like man sorry to hear that and it made me think about the parable of the Chinese farmer and I think the you know, this is something that I've always kind of thought about, but it's never been to the forefront of my mind. So I wanted to kind of pass it on to you guys. So the parable of the Chinese farmer was there's a Chinese farmer and he had a horse and the horse ran away. And all of the people in the village came to his house and, you know, said, you know, sorry to hear that. Or that's bad news. Sorry to hear that. And he said, maybe. And then the next day, the horse that ran away came back with seven other horses and all the people in the village came by and said that's great news and he was like yeah maybe the next day his son was out trying to break the new horses and ended up breaking his leg and the people in the village came by and heard what happened and they said that's some unfortunate news and the guy said yeah maybe the next day the constrip constrip officers from the army came by to basically pull him into the military to fight a war and he was passed over because he had a broken leg and everybody came by and said that's great news and he said yeah maybe and the point of this story is that you never know what the outcome is regardless of fortune or unfortune so I was trying to make it home. Ended up not working out the way I wanted to. And maybe that's fortunate, maybe it's unfortunate, but I don't know. You know, I could have been driving home, trying to get home, and got in an accident. Or maybe by me not making it home on time, I'll get in an accident tomorrow. I mean, we just never know. So getting upset about things, or saying things are fortunate or not is something that you really can't tell all the time. So anyway, enough about that. I did want to talk about some stupid stuff that I was hearing. It was uh, Rocky Balboa got inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame. And I'm not saying that Rocky Balboa being inducted in the Hall of Fame of boxing is stupid in itself because I do think that that character had a lot to do with uh, promoting boxing and sometimes that's really all it takes to be in the Hall of Fame but some of the arguments against Rocky Balboa not the actor not Sylvester Stallone but the character uh, Rocky Balboa getting into the Hall of Fame there were like legitimate people saying that that actually are in this business saying that the reason that he should not be in the Hall of Fame isn't because he's a fictional character but because he lost too many matches in his boxing career so I just thought that was about the dumbest thing that I heard uh, in a while but uh, anyway that's about it so I think my wife was thinking I was going to be running home because I am close to home. I mean, I'm within 50 miles of being home. You know, she and my daughter are having their little, uh, you know, they're having the baby shower today or, you know, or I might like to call them freeloader showers. <laughs> but anyway, the baby showers today and I'm old school. I'm sorry. 
a baby shower would be nothing that I would be interested in. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm just like old school, like, you know, like you have these new school people and I think I'm a little old at heart even to be Gen X, so I'm never the type to be thinking men belong at a baby shower or men need to be in the, you know, delivery room cutting umbilical cords. I mean, you're paying a doctor to do all this shit, so why am I going to be in there doing some of the work? So I, I come from, you know, when I grew up watching TV, you know, the men were in the waiting room handing out cigars to all the other men that were in there uh, going through the same thing. And, uh, you know, I come from the generation where we didn't get pregnant. Like if, you know, like uh, you would never hear a guy saying, we're pregnant. Now, my wife is pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It's not we. You know, that's some new school shit. Maybe even some early or some later Gen X type stuff. But I didn't come up in that thing where, you know, everything was like, you know, we, you know, all that, you know. Anyway, enough about that. So, that baby shower is going on today. And I did send some, uh, probably the flyest gifts that she's going to get even though like I said it's kind of a little freeloader event <laughs> I'm joking but anyway I did get some fly stuff I got the practical shit too pampers you know I'm not one to be trying to buy a bunch of shit that motherfuckers going to be growing out of but I did get a little like I don't even know what they are some shit that they're probably going to grow out of so I probably should have thought that out a little bit better but anyway I'm going to go deliver this load tomorrow. It's going to put me at eight days to get back home. I'm calling it right now. I'm probably going to pick up out at the Walmart, Sam's DC out in uh, Johnstown, Colorado. I'm probably going to take a load to one of the Sam's Club stores in either Idaho or in uh, South Dakota possibly get a load going out to Nebraska and back but I'm going to put my money on going to South Dakota or um, Idaho enough about that just wanted to pop in real quick and uh, kind of tell you what my perspective was on that because I was really trying to make it home and it, it really wasn't you know, those things that popped up on me getting held up in at the shipper and then being held up in Chicago made that a little bit, well, made it something that probably wasn't going to be easy for me to accomplish. So I thought about that parable when uh, I was faced with the reality that it probably wouldn't be the uh, right move. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. No hippie trucking transportation. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.